Hello and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. Did you see that new intro? I hope you liked it. If you did like it, comment down below if you think I should change something or not use it or do something totally different, say that down below as well. Um, as you can probably tell by the title and what you're seeing now, we are going to make a 2D car animation tutorial. This is my first um, 2D an animation or any animation uh, tutorial I've made. So um, tell me what you think and if, and if you think I should make more. Um, well, let me just show you what we're going to make. Alright, and that was it. So in this, um, in this project, it's, uh, there are a lot of aspects. As you can see in my project here, there are an incredible amount of compositions. So um, here you can see I'm in my uh, main composition, my final comp, um, where I have comp one, I just called it, um, which has the actual um, footage, then adjustment layer, which is the uh, color correction, and then um, the uh, black solid, which is the, uh, the uh, border. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let's start off with the car because the car is um, the main focus of course of the shot so I have my car composition here and what I did was I actually just traced a, a 2D image of a car um, with a little bit of customization and um, and I composed it in this um, this 18 layer composition so of course the wheels are their own composition this is a square composition so when I made a new layer I could select ellipse tool here at the top and make a perfect circle um, so to add a little bit of detail on the wheels though you see there are several layers let me let me close all of these layers so it's easier to see um, so here at the bottom I have a black solid which is the main one main um, tire which has roughened edges um, it's pretty rough just just to add some roughness and then I have the inner metal part then the very center then I added um, it's they're gray solids but um, they are white masks just a circle and uh, I and I added stroke but with the end I put 16 percent and then I duplicated it three times to have four of them and rotated them each 90 degrees so that it would make a perfect circle like so and that adds a, a bit of detail if you're seeing the actual wheel rotate um, what I did next was I added a null object and uh, interesting thing here if you can see it's not set up as a normal null object because the um, the anchor point is it is in the middle of the null object which is not how it comes out normally but uh, for this rotation since I'm using this null object to rotate the tire um, I did put the anchor point at 50 by 50 and uh, I do find this more useful on a, on a lot of different things um, than to keep it as it normally is um, with 0, 0 um, because it's just easier to uh, center things with it. So um, and then I added an adjustment layer with uh, curves increased so if I show you the mask here just to add the bit of shadow that is portrayed by the car onto the tire. Um, so what I did with the null object was that I keyframed the rotation so I started at zero and at the very end of this seven a little bit over seven second comp we're at 25 rotations so um, it is moving pretty fast. Um, so then what I did was uh, I wanted to make the um, actual scene so my scene here is this comp one and as you can see there are only six layers here but let me tell you there are a lot more than six layers I mean look at this there's a mountain there there are several forests there's a lake there's a couple farms there's a parking lot with fake cars and a whole road so basically what I did was I compressed a lot of these things into these um, compositions so um first of all you're probably asking yourself why is this composition so big so let me go ahead and show you how big it is it is 14,000 by 4,000 pixels and uh, for this type of project I thought it was 
this was the best way to go about doing it because then in my actual comp what I did was I sort of I, I used uh, instead of having a camera and doing 3D I used position and scale um, to move the scene and follow the car so I thought making a really big comp um, because my first my initial plan was to just have the car being still and and uh, tires rotating and then have have the background just move to the left to make it look like the car is moving but in the end I, I thought maybe I can have this uh, cool zoom in to the car which uh, makes it more uh, interesting and uh, informative so what I decided was the car would actually move um, in the scene and so would the camera so I made a very large scene so that the camera going in is actually a zoom in um, of the composition. So first I made the grass, which is just um, near grass, which is lighter, and then grass in the background, which is darker. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these, but so I made the lake, mountain, and this forest in the very far background. To make, to make all these trees, I made one composition of tree patch one. Uh, let me open it. As you can see here there are 23 um, different um, solids. They're all duplicated versions of the same one which is just a triangle and I moved them um, to different locations and then I duplicated it to have seven different versions of this with and I just added an adjustment layer on top to change the colors. You can see this one is a lot darker. So I'm going to go back to the main top and then the mountain was just a solid and the snow is just another solid so there are a lot of trees back there and then this of course is the lake um, here at the, at the start then and then also there's this other lake here nearby but that is in a different composition because it is in front of the road so um, what I did next was the parking lot here in the distance and um, basically it's just a, a pale gray solid then another version of that solid but uh, sized down a bit and then I made um, lines for the parking spots and added stroke and then I put all masks and on original image just um, yeah and then what I did was I made all these cars just red blue and green I made some rectangles and placed them in the spots um, nothing too complicated there um, then then was a the street so um, my initial idea was to just have a few dashes and just have them move um, from right to left so it looks like the car's moving but in the end I decided to have a, um, a long pill, pill gray solid which is the concrete road then I made a lines composition which is just two straight lines with stroke then dashes so for the dashes I'm sure there's a better way to do this but uh, I went ahead and I just made several different um, different um, solids masks, and I uh, just duplicated them to make the um, to make the dashes. So I'm going to go back to this comp, and that is the street. So um, as you can see, though, I did put the dashes farther down. They're not perfectly in the center. That is to add some perspective and I guess give a little more space to the car on the road as you can see here which uh, doesn't look too shabby if you ask me so um, next what I did was I I saw I had a lot of open space um, so I added the farms uh, a forest on the near side and a lake which uh, I think it adds decent detail I didn't go all out on, the, on making the farms or the lakes for the background really except for the trees there are a lot of trees but uh, my main focus was on the car because 2D animation. And then, of course, I added the car. So, um, as you can see here, uh, all I did with the car, since the wheels were already animated and nothing else needed to be animated, I just um, animated the uh, keyframe, the position from the start all the way until it was off camera on the right side of the screen. So, um, this is basically 2D animation, very simply. So um, you you make your um, your character. So I guess this car is my character. 
and you can edit it at edit its attributes simply um, either all together or one by one but uh, that, that is a basic principle but I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what I did finally in my road composition um, so I started off with the scale at 19 maybe like why not 100 well because as you can see 14,000 by 4 uh, by 4,000 is not 1920 by 1080 which is my final comp so I, I scaled it down until it was inside these parameters and then and so then I went to the very end and I positioned it and scaled it all the way up to where the car would be here but I really wanted to show it go off camera so you have sort of a follow the car and then the car goes away um, type of moment but then I realized uh, at, at some point that it wasn't very it wasn't perfect so um, so I wanted to get to the car faster so you can see more of the car going by waterside road I guess which uh, looks pretty nice um, it will look better I guess <laughs> in real life but I, I think it's a pretty cool animation that we have here um, so I did position it so that the car was on the uh, left third of the screen and I scaled it up to 42 so it's a bit closer to uh, our final our final product at the very end and then of course I did add some uh, auto contrast auto levels and I did apply a color LUT just a quick color LUT from cinematic LUTs but uh, I think it does look pretty good without the color correction it's a bit bright but I think it looks better like this so um this is a basic um, tutorial on, on how to do this um, I hope you understood um, how I did this process I, I can make another tutorial on uh, a, a more in-depth way of doing this um, if you like just comment down below um, if you did like this video make sure to like like it um, and um, I hope you subscribe to my channel for more content I've got a lot of stuff coming out soon um, thanks for watching.